Candidates are gearing up for the statewide primary election, now exactly two weeks away, being held on Tuesday, June 4th. Among the key races topping the ticket, the battle for Congressman Andy Kim's seat in the 3rd District, which is now open as the third-term Democrat vies to replace Senator Menendez. Senior political correspondent David Cruz has a look at who's on the ballot and how the contest is shaping up. Veteran Assemblyman Herb Conway was presumed to be on a clear track to victory in this primary, having gotten most of the party support in this newly bluer 3rd District, which lost some Ocean County and gained some Monmouth and Mercer counties. It's a little ironic, then, that the guy who helped tear down the line, Andy Kim, has made the race a lot closer than anyone expected, to the benefit, perhaps, of Conway's assemblymate, and now opponent, Carol Murphy. Now it's letting me the opportunity to show people that I'm ready to take on DC without automatically shutting me out because, you know, through, for whatever reason that he got all the lines. Murphy and Conway have known each other for 30 years and serve in the assembly together, but she says she's come to realize that a big difference between Conway and herself is that she is a hustler and he's grown content and lethargic. If my constituency doesn't know who I am, that's my fault, not their fault. And um, I haven't been lazy. I've been accessible. Conway, a lawyer and doctor in addition to being a legislator, shakes his head at that assertion. Rather than rest on his laurels, he says, he's earned the support, institutional and otherwise, that he's gotten. I think, quite frankly, some of this is, uh, you know, um, as a pejorative, I think, if I weren't a person of color, I don't think that would be said. I've worked very hard. I've, I've had um, uh, more than one job for the last 25 years and excelled at both of those things. I continue to practice medicine and still do. So I don't know where she gets this idea that I'm lazy, but it might be a preconceived notion that she has. Aside from that, these two and the other Democrat in the field are generally on the same page policy-wise. But the end of the party line has made primaries tougher for former front runners like Conway, says analyst Micah Rasmussen. How powerful are they without the line? And if they are still as powerful and they figured out how to adapt and how to move on and how to replace that shortcut that they had before, then Herb Conway should be in good shape. But if they don't mean as much as they did before, if the endorsements on their own don't mean that they're fired up, then Carol Murphy has sort of an even shot. For Democrats, Sarah Schoengood and Republicans in this race, it's been catch-up from day one, and the end of the party line has helped, but they remain long shots. You have to have a lot of patience, and what I've realized is you have to do a lot of listening, and that should be a no-brainer, but you can't go in knowing it all. Despite a reconfigured district that favors Democrats, GOP candidates here say they think they'll get a bump from being aligned with Trump. I think so. I think so. Yeah, I, I've knocked on, you know, gone on a thousand doors personally myself. And people know things off the rails, particularly here in New Jersey. Immediately they asked, are you Trump or you're not Trump? They asked me. I'm the one who reversed the question says, are you Trump or you're not Trump? And they say immediately, surely our conversation is going to end over here if you're not Trump. Andy Kim, who's expected to be the state's next Democratic senator, likes to tell voters he won in a district that favored Trump in the last two elections. It's considered a safe seat for Democrats. The question is, which Democrat? I'm David Cruz, NJ Spotlight News.